dual kettlebell squat. Two kettlebells per person for this movement. They start at the side. Uh, it doesn't, as long as they have good form when they pick them up, it, it doesn't have to be a clean to get them both up. What I do typically is I'll curl, bring them into the chest, and you want front rack position. So you don't want the arms too far out. You don't want them too far in. You want the elbows straight up and down, elbow tucked in right underneath the ribs, and core is engaged. From here, feet are shoulder width apart, chest is up, spine is nice and long, squat down, keep that core engaged as all as you can, drive those knees out, stay and squeeze the butt at the top, okay? Down, right back up. To make it harder, you can go up and wait to make it easier, you could go down. If somebody has shoulder mobility that just is not there for that movement, that's 100% okay, they can come into the goblet squat position. This is also a form of regressing the movement, Carrying two separate loads at 20 pounds a piece is pretty difficult, but carrying one load at 45 pounds might be a little bit easier, believe it or not. So hands here, uh, kettlebells right at the chest, drop down, drive those knees apart, stand right back up, making sure the form is nice and tight throughout the movement. Making it lighter makes it easier, and you know, going up in weight also makes it harder.